my name is Joshua Spiro. I'm a technology education teacher here at Marshall Math Science Academy. And what we did is we developed fidget spinners using the program Google SketchUp and a 3D printer to able to donate to autistic students. Now the idea behind this program was that um, my two-year-old son is actually being observed right now to see if he possibly has signs of autism. And I also have two nephews who both were diagnosed with autism as well. So talking to the occupational therapist who is observing my son, they told me about how sensory toys really help students with autism and people with autism function and focus better when they're um, disgruntled or upset. So knowing that and knowing that can connect with my curriculum, I figured, hey, why don't we combine the two and the student, my students can create these devices and they could donate it to other students or other people with autism in a way to help them um, relax and focus. My name is Lena Cordero. I'm the assistant principal over at Marshall Math Science Academy. Mr. Spiroff brought me this great idea to the table and asked what we could do with these spinners when they were all done. Um, it's true to, uh, dear to my heart from autism in my family also dealing with young kids and I thought why not take them to our own district, our own kids, our own family so that we could donate them to our kids and that's how we got to Ben Franklin. We worked with Miss Doyle who's the assistant principal here at Ben Franklin and we got 30 fidget spinners out to our own students in our own community. Oh, the kids are very enthusiastic. Fidget spinners is a big thing. When they first came out, everybody wanted one. And the fact that the students are like, wow, we can actually make these? And it's like, yeah. And they really got enthusiastic with it. And then the fact that they're able to go out into their own communities and make somebody's life better by doing this really like touched a lot of them. And they really wanted to be a part of it. The students themselves made the spinners. Uh, they created them in the 3D printers that Mr. Uh, Spiro fundraised and got for our building. Yep. And um, he had the kids build the spinners themselves. So they, they built them in their hands and they were able to decide that they were gonna come here and donate them to their own kids. Some of them have siblings here. Um, some of them have siblings at home with autism that they know and they experience every day. And they were so excited that the fidget spinners were gonna help their own kids. We bring the students to the organizations, to the schools, and the schools use them as classroom sensory toys. So then the student is disgruntled, they're upset, they're maybe something's frustrating them, they can give them their spinner and have them go sit in their, in their special designated spot and they can just spin it and they can help themselves relax and calm down, refocus and then get back to the work at hand. We actually have two more sixth grade classes currently. They're going to be doing it later on in the end of the market period. And we're either going to reach out to other schools and possibly then reach out to other organizations who work with autistic people and really try to get a connection between um, real life situations and school situations. So we were basically making fidget spinners for the autistic kids to calm them down because we know they get hyper and overactive and we wanted to help them um, calm down and be more respectful to the teachers so it will calm them down and it helps them just quiet down more. And so, so what did you do? What did you do? Um, we had to plan like what we wanted to do on the website and then so everybody agreed on to do a fidget spinner so when we agreed on that we went on the website and we started drawing out the fidget spinner and test, yeah and testing out different ideas and then right when we got the right thing that we wanted to make we sent it to Mr. Spiroff and then we printed it out on the uh, 3D printer and then that's how we made our fidget spinner. And we spinner. made our base and we made, we got to pick different colors. It was like blue, yellow, green, black and we made different colors and um, then we made the base, the uh, caps and then he got his um, bearings and we put them in the middle and you could paint it, um, color it or whatever you wanted to do on the fidget spinner and then we came here to give it to the autistic kids and they really liked it and we were having say, fun. What was that like? And they really liked it. It was really fun. And we got to spend an hour with them. And we, we were learning how to dance from one of
we go out to the kids, we played games, we showed them the fidget spinners, and we had fun. I'm Angel Doyle, one of the assistant principals at Ben Franklin Elementary School. And Ms. Cordero, she is an acting principal at Marshall Math Science, had a conversation with me. And she informed me that her students, both math science and regular Marshall students, and along with the support and in, under the instruction and tutelage of their teacher, they were going to be making 3D fidget spinners. So he was teaching the students how to make them. Well, she told me that they were interested in an autism program and they wanted to give the spinners to autism students. Being that Ben Franklin houses all Ben Franklin, all elementary students from K to four, I told her we would be more than happy to accept it. So we made it happen. She set up the date, they came over and they each individually chose a student and gave the student the fidget spinner along with spent time with them and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Not only was it a great project for the students to do, but it was a great project as far as just interacting with students to let our, artist, our autistic students know that you're important and it gave the autistic students as well as the students from Marshall a sense of pride, a sense of belonging, a sense of I did this for you. And our students and teachers were very, very pleased to receive the fidget spinners and to be included in something that was so special. Um, yeah, it's cool that we're on the news, you know, the news, you're going to be on the website, you're going to be on the Facebook, you'll be on the Marshall Facebook page, which all your, yep, um, and we'll put it on as soon as we get back to school, but I want you to have a really deep understanding about this. This is huge, okay, it may not be big to everybody outside of where we are right now, but you guys built something, you put your hard work, your grade depended on this, right? Okay, you took your hard work that most of you be like, yeah, I got a fidget spinner, I'm going to keep that bad boy, go home. And you came to your community. You came to your school. Some of you came here, right? You gave your hard work. You gave it to those kids. And you made those. Those kids are good for the year. They are. You just made their whole year. So yes, the extra, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. That's extra for you. But in your heart, you need to know that you just did something that a lot of people wouldn't do. You did something out of the kindness of your heart. And you played with them. They don't even need the spinners. If you would have came and played with them today, that, that would have been enough for yeah. them. OK? Yeah. So the extra, the pictures, the you're awesome, you're awesome, you are, we know you're awesome. awesome. But you just oh, did awesome. something yes. serving, okay? Okay, who are do you, you Marshall Science or regular They're Marshall? mixed, you, they're all mixed. Mm -hmm. um, you owe the biggest thank you to who? Mr. Mr. Doyle. Okay, Mr. okay. Mr. the one on top of that one, the, 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 the Thank you, Mr. Spiro. Thank you, Mr. Spiro.